All right, so I'm going to introduce you to a PIC32 board, this one right here, and my uh, PIC kit for debugger. There are six pins on this board right here that allow for debugging. The triangle right there indicate pin one, and there's a pin one indicated on the ICSP connector header there. I pop my pins in like, come on, there we go. They're slightly offset from each other in a little zigzag pattern, so they actually lock into place. It's kind of clever. Um, next, I'm going to use USB to power the board. Like that, it's not powered. And I'm going to take the other USB cable, the micro USB cable, and plug it into my programmer. There we go. So I now have a programmer connected to a board with power applied to the board. All right, next up. I'm going to go in here and show you that I've got a program written in C++. It's basically C, but written as a C++ project. Um, difference here is I've got the C standard library uh, header. Um, I've got namespace set up here. Uh, the main is set up the same way, returns the same way. Basically, it looks like a C file, but it's C++. Anyway. So we've got this all connected up. I'm now going to run, program it in. Oh, shoot, I'm in simulator mode. Stop, right click, properties. We're going to choose the picket four. You can see I'm running uh, MPLAB X Three or 5.35, and I'm using XC32 2.40. I say OK right here. And we download again. Let's try this. So the program's going to come in through this USB line right here into the programmer. All this one's being used is for power. Waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. All right, so programming is complete. And now, if you look, that LED that's flashing right there, that's the one that's associated with port G in my program. Let's go get it. Port G, where it turns on, and port G, where it turns off. Here we'll put some uh, breakpoints. We'll put pause. We'll put a breakpoint there. And sorry, a breakpoint there. And a breakpoint there. So you'll see it turn off and on. Here we go. Go. Should be off now. Yeah, it is. And it should turn on again when it hits the next break point. There you go. And it's on. Off. There we go. It's off. And back on. Off. And back on. Off. And back on. All right. So there you have it. This is how we can actually get a PIC32 board working. You might not have one of the PIC32 boards, and that's okay. Um, but this is what's going on if you actually have one. All right, take care, everyone.